Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Um, I did a Good Molecules Beautylish haul in my channel before. So one of those products that I bought was the Good Mole Molecules Pure called Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. And this is what it looks like. It comes in a box like this. So just a few information regarding this. Um, this Pure Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil costs around ten dollars and it's available in Beautylish but I think they're going to open good molecules will be sold in Ulta soon and this is an antioxidant rich facial oil that delivers natural vitamin A and helps restore skin elasticity so this costs ten dollars as I mentioned but it only has 13 ml of product compared to the usual 13 ml that we usually get and the instructions is warm a few drops between the palms and gently press into damp skin and it is best absorbed after water-based serums and it can be used daily in the morning and in, and in the evening okay so let's first start with the packaging it comes in a very small bottle like this and it has a dropper formula and it has this clear um, oil and then it has an oily smell I, I'm not really good at describing smells, but if you if you guys have been using oils before, normally oils aren't fragrant. So the so if you guys know how uh, an oil smell or even just a cooking oil, it it smells like that. I mean you can't smell it on the face, but if you really have to like really smell your face, you can or your hands, you can really smell it. But it goes away after a few after a few seconds, even while applying. This one you can use this on the face but uh but for this review i am going to use it i'm going to review it based on how i've been using it which is how which is by um, applying it on my surgi surgical scar so rose hip seed oil is supposed um it's a vitamin a so it helps to restore your skin's elasticity as well as lighten dark spots and also prevents wrinkles and i can use it on my face as well but i decided not to because i also am using another retinoid product from the ordinary which i will also review soon because i already have my thoughts about it but yeah for this rose hip seed oil if you guys are looking for a good facial oil perhaps this can be a good one if you have a lot of dark spots that, that you want to um lighten up or just you know for you to use something oil but Again, as I mentioned, I haven't used this on my face, so I can't really recommend it, especially if you have oily and sensitive and acne-prone skin, because even if an oil is non-comedogenic, um, we all have different skin types, so it might clog your pores. So yeah, I that's also one of the reasons why I haven't used it on my face. I haven't used any facial oils yet on my face. I use serums, oily serums, but never on oil. Um, hopefully soon I'll be able to uh, I'm going to try some facial oils but for this rose hip seed oil I bought this mainly for my surgical scar and that's how I have been using it mainly for I've been I've been using this ever since I bought this so around two months already so yeah I have been applying this every night on my surgical scars so I'm not sure if you can tell um, but I have a surgical scar here. I had my surgery last 2018 and ever since I have been trying to look for um, an ointment, a gel or an oil that will help me with my um, scar. And rose hip seed oil, I've heard so much about rose hip seed oil that, will, that helps um, with scars and all that. It just does not help with dark spots. It also helps with, with scars. So. I decided to buy this and just use this on my scars and I am happy to tell you guys that even though I still can see my surgical scar here and I still have a long way to go I can definitely see a bit of a progress on my scars it's still very visible especially if you look at it but compared to how it was before and considering the improvement that this oil made on my neck I can totally um, get on board with this one because I've been using different ointments before and even though I saw a little bit of improvement they're very gradual and this one this also has a gradual pace of improving my scar but compared to the pace of the other 
other um, topical stuff or medicines that I've inputted. This one, this rosehip seed oil created the fastest um, or it created the most improvement in such a short amount of time. I'm not saying that it's perfect. I'm not saying that it's going to remove your scar in just a few months, but um, based just from my experience, it improved a lot my scar. So you can still see it, but unfortunately, I didn't get a picture of my of my scar before I started using this rosehip seed oil. But I'm gonna try to look for a video of mine before February, I think, where you can see my scar, and I'll just try to like put a picture or a screenshot of that video I hope you I hope I can find something but yeah in person you can definitely tell like I still have a you can still see my scar here but this one it has lightened quite a bit and here as well you can still see it as I mentioned you can still see it but if like I'm far away um, it it's okay so yeah and it's really hard to review scar um, scar ointments or scar medicines because for me, scars just won't, especially surgical scars, especially those with galloids, it's hard to see improvements with it. It's going to take years. But for if you guys have like scars or just light scars or light burns that you want to improve or you want to lighten, I feel like this one will be enough for you. Or if you have like leg bites or if you have insect bites in your legs that have darkened a bit, this one I think will help with those with lighten up those scars and those pigments because if it was able to lighten up this surgical scar that was very obvious before in just a such a short amount of time I'm pretty sure it will help also those lighter scars. Oh yeah, that's it. That's such a very random and very uninformative review, but yeah. If you guys are were looking for a review on on applying this on the face I'm sorry but I'm not I just have I'm just applying so many serums on my face right now that I can't really incorporate an oil on top of everything else and I'm slowly trying to um, determine if a product breaks me out or not so I can't just add this in my routine but yeah for scars for surgical scars I really recommend it but this is not an immediate solution okay i'm just saying that this is not an immediate solution but if you're willing to do to be diligent in applying this you can definitely see a bit of improvement with this rope so rose hip seed oil and even though it only has 13 ml product you i for me i only use it for here so i've used i've used around this much so yeah it it co it only contains certain ml but you all but I also don't use a lot so yeah I didn't oh I forgot to mention that how I use this so I use this I just take a bit of an oil and then I just put it here on my scar and then I just massage it for around a minute and then that's it I just go to sleep so yeah that's it guys I hope this was still helpful and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.